Hello viewers, welcome to this lecture. Today we will discuss about the Poynting's theorem. We know that work necessary to assemble all the static charges, work required to assemble, assemble all static charge distribution the uh, work required equals to work for the static electric field electric field <coughs> is equals to epsilon naught by 2 e square d2 and the uh, work required to get currents going work required to get current goings currents uh, current going which is a work done for a magnetic field is equals to 1 by 2 mu naught b square d2 total so the total uh, energy stored in an electromagnetic field is equals to 1 by 2 epsilon naught e square plus b square by mu naught <coughs> we will confirm this energy conservation law in uh, upcoming in this topic uh, suppose we have a charge and current uh, configuration which at time t produces charge suppose we have charge and current distribution at time t which produces electric and magnetic field <clears throat> in the next instant in dt time in dt time the charges uh, the charges move around a bit the charges moved around a bit <clears throat> so how much work is required to uh, to done by the electromagnetic force uh, which is acting on these charges so as we know according to the Lorentz force that uh, f dot dl is equals to q uh, e plus v cross b which is a uh, Lorentz law and dl is equals to v dt <coughs> now this is equals to q e dot v t because uh, by the property v cross b dot v is equals to zero and uh, now uh, in terms of uh, charge we know the charge is rho d tau rho d tau and uh, the charge density current density j is equals to rho v on substituting the value of q and rho uh, j f dot dl which is equals to dw is equals to by dt <coughs> q, uh, q value rho d tau e dot v taking data this side so this is basically the power and the power per unit volume power per unit volume is equals to uh, rho into v is equals to j which is equals to e dot j <coughs> e dot j d tau for the volume integral by ampere's maxwell law which is uh, del cross b <coughs> ampere maxwell's law del cross b is equals to mu naught j plus mu naught epsilon naught curl e by curl t
Now substituting the value of uh, j from here, it uh, it will look like e dot j is equals to <coughs> del cross uh, b e del cross b by mu naught and uh, minus psilon naught curl e by curl t okay <coughs> now uh, by the product rule that del dot e cross b which is equals to e b del cross e b dot del cross e minus e dot del cross b substituting the value of uh, e dot del cross b which is equals to b dot del cross e by mu naught e dot del cross e by mu naught minus del dot e cross b by mu naught minus epsilon naught e curl e by curl t okay and uh, by the faraday's law e dot for the faraday's law which says that del cross e is equals to minus curl b by curl t so this equation will be changed like that so this equation e dot j will look like uh, del cross e b dot curl b by curl t minus del dot e cross b minus epsilon naught e curl e by curl t <coughs> now now uh, that curl by curl t e square is equals to uh, 2e curl e by curl t so e curl by e curl e by curl t is equals to 1 by 2 curl e square by curl t similarly for the value of b dot curl b by curl t is equals to 1 by 2 curl by curl t b square substituting these values again e dot j will end up like this minus half curl by curl t uh, epsilon naught epsilon naught e square minus um, plus sorry minus i have taken common outside so <coughs> b square by mu naught minus 1 by mu naught del dot e cross b okay now uh, on applying the Gauss divergence theorem to the second term dw by dt uh, minus d by dt half for the volume psi naught e square plus b square by mu naught d tau minus 1 by mu naught as we applied here uh, Gauss divergence theorem so the volume integral of for this will be changes into surface integral e cross b dot d okay <coughs> where uh, this s is uh, the surface boundary surface bounding volume uh, and this is nothing but a pointing theorem pointings theorem which is the work also known as also known as work energy theorem of electrodynamics work energy theorem of electrodynamics here the first integral uh, this first integral uh, is the total energy stored in the field which I uh, just told you in the initial of this lecture which is some of the energies uh, uh, work done by the 
in the electric field and the magnetic field and the second term uh, responds the rate at which energy is transported out of V okay rate at which energy is transported out of V across its boundary surface S by the electromagnetic fields so uh, the energy per unit time and the energy per unit time per unit area uh, transported by fields transported by fields called pointing vector this simple the energy uh, trans energy per unit time per unit area transported by field called transported by for this field it's called this is a pointing vector s is equals to 1 by mu naught e cross b okay now uh, if uh, if no work done on charges done on charges then then dw by dt is equals to zero and uh, our expression above which is minus s dot da equals to curl u by curl t d2 here i change this expression into a total uh, energy stored uh, in uh, electrodynamics okay du by dt d2 so del dot s under changing this again into by gauss divergence theorem del dot s is equals to uh, minus curl u by curl t which is nothing but our continuity equation where uh, this u plays the role of uh, raw u plays the plays the role of raw and uh, s plays the role of j <clears throat> so it appears uh, a local conservation of electromagnetic theory okay <clears throat>